Hello everyone. In this session, we'll be discussing about velocity analysis of four-bar mechanism. Uh, consider a four-bar mechanism A B C D, in which link A B is rotating with angular velocity omega radian per second. And suppose at an instant this AB is making an angle theta with horizontal link one which is fixed two which is the crank rotating with angular velocity omega radian per second link three and link four are all in relative motion with each other now to determine the velocity of point b c with respect to fixed uh, and the relative velocity of c with respect to b we will follow the procedure like uh, i have explained in the previous session also that velocity of any point on a link is always perpendicular to the link and its magnitude is equals to the product of the angular velocity and the distance of a point from the fixed center say the velocity of b with respect to a or the absolute velocity of b will be omega of ab into distance ab and it will be perpendicular to ab that means if in this figure velocity of b will be perpendicular to ab and its magnitude will be omega into ab clear in the same way velocity of point c with respect to b as we don't know the angular velocity of bc we know the distance bc only so the velocity of point c with respect to b will be perpendicular to bc one thing yes that means velocity of point c with respect to b will be perpendicular to this link bc yes but we don't know uh, whether it will be in the positive direction or negative direction or in the so we'll make a vector of the known direction which is perpendicular to this link bc also the absolute velocity of point c that is velocity of point c with respect to d on link 4 will be perpendicular to this link cd yes that is velocity of c with respect to d or the velocity of c that is the absolute velocity of c with respect to d will be perpendicular to cd and its magnitude will be omega of cd omega of cd into the distance cd omega is unknown to us we have to evaluate so with the help of the graphical representation we can able to make the velocity diagram and we can calculate and we by measurement velocity of c with respect to b and velocity of c with respect to d now for drawing the velocity diagram uh, take all the fixed point as one point like and as i mentioned earlier also all the nomenclatures in case of velocity diagram will be done in the small case 
Now first of all mark point small a and d at a point. From point A we'll draw a vector VB that is velocity of point B with respect to A perpendicular to A B. This is theta with horizontal. So with horizontal this inclination will be how much 90 minus theta so what we'll draw it we'll take a dotted line and we'll draw the vector v b and mark the point as small b this a b is representing the velocity of point B with respect to A or the absolute velocity of B. Uh, take suitable scale according to your worksheet. Now this velocity of C with respect to B is perpendicular to BC. How we'll draw is we'll again take the horizontal line the angle between BC and the velocity is of C with respect to B is 90 degree. So this angle will be suppose this link BC is inclined at an angle say beta. So this angle from the horizontal will be how much 90 minus beta. So from here you can draw a line horizontal line and mark an angle 90 minus beta from point B now velocity of point C with respect to D is perpendicular to CD so then from point D mark a vector which is perpendicular to this link CD that is link 4 from small d on the velocity diagram which will meet the vector BC at C. This ABC is your required velocity diagram. You can take the proper scale and uh, draw. This is the rough uh, diagram that I am showing so by exact measurement in scale you can follow the steps to draw the velocity diagram of four bar mechanisms uh, let us uh, let me explain you with the steps of construction once again uh, first of all a and D are fixed points. Link A D is fixed. So make reference small a and D as one point in a velocity diagram. This is your velocity diagram. Clear? Then from point A draw a vector AB which is representing velocity of B with respect to A or the absolute velocity of B whose magnitude is omega into the distance AB and it is perpendicular to AB clear then velocity of C with respect to B that is velocity of C with respect to B is perpendicular to BC in this figure this represents velocity of C with respect to B this BC represents velocity of C with respect to B so this time uh, we know just the direction of the vector BCB that is small bc then 
VCD that is velocity of C with respect to D is perpendicular to this link CD and from point D we will draw DC perpendicular to capital DC. Now this vector DC as you can see from this figure DC and BC meets at point C by measurement this BC it represents velocity of C with respect to B and this DC represents velocity of point C let me show you uh, the clean diagram uh, uh, so you are clear uh, this is vector AB is velocity of B vector BC is velocity of C with respect to B and vector DC is velocity of C absolute velocity of C so this is your required velocity diagram uh, now suppose we have uh, to calculate uh, we have to calculate the angular velocity of link BC we know that velocity of C with respect to B is VCB which has been calculated by or which has been validated by measurement of velocity diagram given by vector BC so VCB is known to us capital CB is known to us so omega BC into CB will be velocity of C with respect to B so that way angular velocity of link BC can be calculated whose direction will be counter clockwise about B uh, one thing uh, it's been observed in most of the cases that if this is clockwise if AB is showing clockwise motion then BC will show anti-clockwise and then CD will show clockwise as we have calculated omega BC that is equals to VCB upon CD similarly if you want to calculate omega of CD it will be yes velocity of C with respect to D upon CD this VCD is this vector DC and CD is known to us so that means we can calculate the angular velocity of all other links clear uh, one thing uh, very important uh, suppose we are given with any point E on this link BC whose velocity is to be evaluated then uh, you can see from the procedure for drawing velocity diagram that consider any point E on link BC then velocity of point E with respect to B will be evaluated by the ratio of this velocity diagram and the configuration diagram that is suppose we don't know where this point EB is but we know that EB upon CB will be capital EB upon capital CB capital EB measurement is known to us capital CB measurement is known to us small cb from the velocity diagram is known to us so this eb can be evaluated then in the velocity diagram mark an arc from point b to e of length be this be represents velocity of point e with respect to b clear and if we join this point e from the fixed it will give what it will give it will give velocity of point e with respect to fixed that is the absolute velocity of point e clear this can also be uh, stated with the uh, our knowledge like we know that velocity of point c with respect to B is omega of the link into the distance 
CB into the distance C B in the same way velocity of point E with respect to B is omega this is the same omega of the link CB because point E is also on link CB or BC multiply by the distance E B and if we divide both equations VCB upon VEB equals to CB upon EB. CB is known to us, EB is known to us. This velocity of C with respect to B is this small CB and we can calculate EB. Clear? Also, as I have mentioned here, in these steps also we have written that angular velocity of link CD will be VCD into CD and in the clockwise direction. As AB is in clockwise, so BC is anti-clockwise and then CD is again clockwise. They alternate positive and negative directions. So you have to practice the same um, for velocity analysis and if you practice with suitable skills it will be clear in the one or two shots hope you are clear uh, thank you thank you so much uh, for more videos uh, you can subscribe to my youtube channel that is gagan bansal and for any query you can uh, feel free to mail me at uh, gagan bansal 12345 at the rate gmail.com or gagan bansal at the rate geu.ac.in thank you